All right, hey guys, Travis here with Modern Bay Company. As you all know, we do Subaru conversions into Volkswagen Bay window buses. It's kind of our thing. Uh, this is, the bus behind me is El Dorito. This is El Dorito's power plant, EJ25. And I'm freaking excited about it because we're getting ready to put it in. But uh, today's little tidbit is just on adjusting the throttle position sensor. So I'm not sure I can do this, but I think I can. Okay, look at us. Lazy Susan for the win. Okay, so throttle position sensor is right here. This is our throttle body reverser. Um, it's cool. I've talked about this numerous times in other videos, so I'm not gonna talk about it right now. But this is the, thr the throttle position sensor. If you do not adjust this correctly, you're gonna have all kinds of weird problems running. So, we good still? Okay, Yeah. so if we do not adjust this correctly, we're gonna have all kinds of problems. Uh, the fuel mapping with the ECM is gonna be off. It's gonna be trying to kick in too much fuel or not enough or whatever. So um, what we're doing here to calibrate this, so I've got, um, so while I'm extending my harness, which you'll see in another YouTube video, uh, how to do that. While I'm extending it and I've got these wires cut, what I'm doing is giving power and ground to the two wires that normally get power and ground, which actually on this, logically enough, is red and black. So 12 volts just hooked up to a battery. Hooked up, I don't know what that was. I'm hooked up to a battery down, down here, 12 volts. And then I'm measuring between my signal wire, uh, which is on this one, this is a 2002. Um, it's the white wire coming off. And I'm measuring that, the voltage between the white wire and ground. So white wire and ground when this is powered. So what you do, you kind of snug your throttle position sensor down. And then on your voltmeter, do, 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 right here, you look for between 0.45 and 0.55 volts. So check it out. If I rotate this quite a bit, I'm at what, 1.1, something like that. Not what we want. We're gonna be wilding out <laughs> if we're way up there when we're trying to drive. So I'm just gonna slowly turn this and I'm just gonna try to nail it right at 0.5 uh, volts. We'll see how close I can get here. So coming down, coming down. Oh, that's looking good. Going back. Oh, going back down. All right. So we're right around there. I'm going to watch this with my old eyeballs while I tighten this guy down. So this is with the throttle fully closed, by the way. So if I move this throttle, uh, then it's going to affect the uh, voltage the same way. So I can uh, move this and then watch it go up which you can't see i'll show you in a minute i am going to go ahead and tighten this down though so i'm not futzing with that i'm at 0.48 that's still perfectly inspect oh oh it's 0.500 guys i gotta tighten it right now all right now look at that and you know once you tighten uh, your two bolts, it's gonna change a little bit, always does. We're at 0.515, certainly within spec there. And then check this out. Don't do it. All right, check this out. If I move that, it's going up and down just like it should. Sending the right signal to the computer so that your engine is gonna run correctly and after exercising that throttle a couple times, we end up 0.52, certainly within spec, we're great. So there's that. Oh, the other thing is I'm mounting this. Don't do it, Siri. <laughs> I'm mounting this. I'm not sure I understand. Neither do I, who knows. <laughs> I'm mounting this 180. So normally this throttle position sensor when it's on a Subaru without a reverser is mounted this way. You can just flip that guy over, just make sure you clock it correctly um, so that it actually engages with the sensor on the other side. So uh, yeah, that's today's video. Um, it may be actually a little tidbit. How long are we, Jess? Four and a half minutes. Ah, four minutes, it's a big tidbit. Sorry guys, <laughs> um, that sound means it's time to be done. <laughs> All right, so this is Travis, Modern Bay Company. Uh, give me a shout in the comments, uh, add any questions. You guys often give great feedback, uh, feedback on the videos, but also tips for other people. Um, so yeah, any tips, tricks, anything like that, also leave them in the comments for other folks and give us a shout if we can help you with your Bay Window bus. Thanks guys, bye.